Hi, this is Jay Schaefer with Skylapser.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate a cool little panning device for shooting time lapses, a little DIY device here. Okay, you're all probably familiar with being able to use a uh, kitchen timer to uh, go ahead and add some movement to your time lapses. And these are basically out there on the market and therefore basically GoPro cameras. And so you can basically take a GoPro on this and you can uh, set the timer there and then the GoPro will rotate around and you can mount this on a tripod and you can end up with a, a nice little time uh, lapse with some uh, nice little motion to it. And uh, this particular one is kind of a DIY uh, device too. I made this from an IKEA kitchen timer and epoxied a uh, tripod mount uh, screw on the bottom here and put my uh, sticky um, uh, GoPro mount there on the top of that. And so I've got a nice little GoPro uh, uh, timer here. And these timers, they do 360 degrees in 60 minutes or 180 degrees in 30 minutes. And that's kind of the limitation of these is that uh, that's, that's great, uh, but you know, usually when I'm doing a time lapse, I'm doing something a little bit longer than a half hour and or an hour, you know, even if I wanted to do a, a 360 degree pan instead of a, a 180 degree pan. But most of the time I'm, I'm doing 180 degrees. And there are uh, some commercial devices out there that you can buy. This is a Camelapse. And they run about $40 on, on Amazon, and it's got the tripod mount on the bottom and a quarter 20 screw on the top. And it will handle cameras about GoPro size, but it won't handle a camera that's a little bit heavier like this. And this is a uh, Lumix, Panasonic Lumix GH2 camera, which is my kind of go-to time-lapse camera. And so this basically won't work with that. This was, it's too heavy for it. And Again, this has the same limitation as it does 360 degrees in 60 minutes or 180 degrees in 30 minutes. And there are a couple of these that are out there on the market that will do uh, two hours for 360 degrees or one hour for 180 degrees. But my problem with that was that was still not long enough for me. Is What I wanted to do is I usually do three to four hour time lapses when I'm shooting at, at night, or if I want to get a really good cloud uh, sequence uh, that will you know, boil down to a, a good 30 seconds of a time lapse, is the, 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 the time lapse is usually a lot longer than an hour or even two. And so I was kind of looking for a device out there that, would, that would, I could carry, that would be super lightweight, and that I could, when I'm out in the field, and it wouldn't be, you know, have to carry it in its own backpack, and be able to do some panning and some camera movement for when I'm shooting time lapses. And so I did a little research and I came across uh, this. This is called an auto shut off timer, timer and it's from Intermatic. And the nice thing about this is it is a spring uh, loaded uh, device like these. It's a clockwork device, so it doesn't need batteries. And so you, you all know in the field, if you're out there shooting in the cold at night, what happens to batteries is they go flat. So I wanted something that was just simple spring loaded device that was going to give me a little bit more duration than when the, your standard kitchen timer and would also handle a little bit heavier camera like this GH2. So I found the uh, Intermatic uh, uh, timer here. And this is basically uh, a wall mounted uh, for, for electrical uh, devices, so like if you wanted to shut off a fan after six hours or, or, or a hot tub or something like that, that's what this timer is made for. But uh, basically as I took that and I adapted that so that I can use it to, to shoot time lapses. So I just epoxied on, again, uh, a tripod mount screw on the bottom of it here. And then originally I uh, had epoxied on just a quarter 20 screw and a tripod mount to the knob that came with the device. And that, that worked just, just fine, but I just kind of wanted to beef it up a little bit. And so I mounted on there a little, uh, uh, this is called a shaft coupler. And so that couples that quarter 20 uh, camera screw onto the, uh, the shaft that comes out, out of the timer device. And this makes it a little bit heavier duty and it will actually work with a camera like this uh, Panasonic 
GH2. So I'll go ahead and mount the camera on there. And you can see that, that, that that's you know on there fairly steady. And this will actually uh, move this camera. So and so you know, I wouldn't go with any heavier camera than this, but th it will handle this camera with a battery and an intervalometer and the 14 millimeter uh, f2.5 lens on there. OK, and then I'll go ahead and I can mount this on my tripod here. And this is just a, my little lightweight carbon fiber tripod that I will talk about in a later uh, uh, episode here. And the huge advantage of this is that it comes in two hours, four hours, six hours, or eight hour increments. You can buy a timer that will uh, do basically uh, 360 degrees in eight hours, or in the case that I used, is I've got the six hour timer. So it basically does 180 degrees in three hours, or if I want to push it a little bit further than that, like 270 degrees, I, I, I can do that over a four hour period. And there's not too often when I'm actually shooting a time lapse that's longer than four hours. So this, uh, it's, this couldn't be any simpler, is I can just take the device there and you just basically wind it up and then it will start slowly panning back around to its original position. Okay, like these kitchen timers, this is also limited to only traveling in a counterclockwise direction unless you mount the camera upside down and the timer upside down. You can go through a little bit of things to do that. But this is uh, good, uh, good enough and super lightweight. I can put this in my pocket or put it in my, my day pack, carry it with my carbon fiber tripod, this light little camera, and I've got a nice little light setup that allows me to shoot time lapse with some uh, camera motion in them, especially pan motion. And I, even with my ball head here, I can even take that and I can mount that so that I got a, an angle to it so that I can get an arc uh, with it when it, when it does its, its pan. I'll put a video up there that I shot with uh, the GoPro and uh, maybe I'll get a GH uh, video up there also to, to show you that, you know, how this actually looks over a period of time. And so again, a great little device. It cost about $20 on Amazon and you know, and maybe a couple little bit parts and some epoxy, and you've got a nice little uh, panning device for shooting your time lapses that is super lightweight and super inexpensive and yields great results. This is Jay Schaefer with Skylapser.com, and be sure to uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and visit Skylapser.com.